Hi and welcome back to MRTV. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install the Quest Game Optimizer on your Quest 3 to improve how all the games look on the Quest 3. It's absolutely worth it. And the good part is I'm going to show you really every single step in this video. How to install SideQuest, how to install the Game Optimizer. And yeah, I'm not going to send you to other videos. Everything's going to happen in this video, step by step and easy to understand. Yeah, so for all of you who don't know yet, what is the Quest Game Optimizer? It's a $10 app and these $10 absolutely are worth it. And this app helps you to yeah increase the resolution of the games of the games that you want to play on your Quest 3 and then don't look as good as they could. For example, I recently played Vampire The Masquerade Justice. It's an amazing game here on the Quest 3, but resolution does not look really great. So after I installed the Quest Game Optimizer, wow, it looks so good. It is absolutely gorgeous. And well, you should do that too. Install the Quest Game Optimizer. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. I'm so glad that you're back here on the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if you're excited about the Quest 3 and VR in general, absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything because I'm bringing you the latest reviews, I'm bringing you tutorials like this and lots of amazing content. So subscribe to this channel now. But now let's get into the tutorial, how to install the Quest Game Optimizer on your Quest 3. First of all, let's install SideQuest. Go to sidequestvr.com, then click on Get SideQuest. Here you have two options, the Easy Installer here and the Advanced Installer. So what you want to go for is the Advanced Installer because that will allow us to install APKs and that's exactly what we want to do here with the Quest Game Optimizer. So next in line is simply download the version for your operating system. I'm here on a Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version, but if you're on a Windows PC or Linux, Simply get the version that you need. So once the file is downloaded, install the app. So for the Mac, I double click it here and then I move the icon to applications. For Windows, simply double click and follow the instructions on the screen and then you can install SideQuest. Now it's here in my applications. I double click it here to open it and yeah, it's gonna open. For all of you who don't know SideQuest, SideQuest is something that you really want. It's like a third party, App Store with lots of cool apps. Okay, so now this opens and I'm going to walk you through the installation of SideQuest now. All right, so here you can click on Accept All. That's fine. Now on the top, click on Open Setup Instructions. And they're going to walk you through this. And I will do this, I will follow this exactly. So step number one, on the Meta website, create an organization. That is something that you need to do. So simply copy that link here and open it. Open a new browser window, paste that, that um, URL that you've just copied, and there you go. Then you get to the Meta website and simply click on sign up when you see this pop-up. Probably you first have to log into your Meta account. I was already logged in, that's why you didn't see that here. So simply click on sign up here. Now you've to start your organization. So I already had an organization, I have done this already, but for you, you have to do it here on the left org manager, click on create, and then on the right, simply enter a name. It could be anything. You know, you can write a MRTV um, organization or whatever. Click on understand, I understand and click on submit. That's it. That's step number one. Congratulations. Now step number two, enable developer mode and reboot. So open your Quest app on your phone and simply do what you see here. Click on devices and here click on, click on developer settings and then simply turn this on and you're good to go. Step number three, connect USB cable and allow USB debugging. So connect a uh, USB cable with your Quest and your PC or Mac. Then you get a pop-up within your, your Quest. 
which will allow USB de debugging. Yes, click on always allow from this computer. This is important. Yes, and then this has been the last step. So now you connect it, and now actually SideQuest is connected. So again, SideQuest is this amazing third-party app store, which will also allow you to easily install APKs. That's what we want to do. And now what you can do, you can also install SideQuest inside your VR headset. So why don't you do that now? Click on this here, install SideQuest on your VR headset, and then you can use SideQuest on your Quest 3 and don't have to use your desktop application. Latest version installed. Success. <laughs> Great. So now, now we have to go and simply buy the Quest Game Optimizer. So let's do that now. So for that, we go to the website of the Quest Game Optimi Optimizer, the link down in the description of this video. And yeah, we have to buy it now. So click on Buy Now. And then you will have to make an itch.io account. That is something like Steam, but for apps like this. And then once you have bought it, you will be able to download it. And you will have these three options. The first option is just the APK file. This is exactly the one that we want. So don't go for the others. Just go for the APK because we can easily install that now with SideQuest. So the others, no. Simply go for the first one and click on Download. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Yeah, I'm telling you step by step. I'm showing you step by step everything here. So this is going to download to your computer now. Next, in SideQuest, click on this icon here, Install APK file from folder of computer. And here, simply choose now the APK file that you have just downloaded. Here it is. Click on Open. And the magic is happening. Yes, the Quest Game Optimizer is now being installed onto your Quest 3. Congratulations. That has been amazing. <laughs> yes, and here it's happening. It is now installed on the Quest 3. All right, so now go into your Quest 3 and go to your app library. I don't know, before you do that, inside Quest, click on this Wi-Fi button because we have to connect your Quest now via Wi-Fi. That's really important. And click on Connect. Your Quest has to be in the same wireless network like your computer. And then once you've done this, on the top left, you'll see something has changed. There's now this icon. Click on it. It shows like... Uh, connection via cable and Wi-Fi. And once you see that, you can disconnect the cable and now you connect it to your computer wirelessly. Perfect. That is exactly what you want. All right. Now, now you can go into your Quest, go to your app library, click on Unknown Resources, and here it is now, the Quest Game Optimizer. Start it. And, yeah, you'll get to the settings, to the general settings. And here you can read through it. And probably you could you could change something. I didn't change anything in this menu here, but you can simply read through everything here. What you can do, you can change the color theme and some other things. Once you click on back, once you click on that arrow to the left, here this one here, then it's important that you click on allow, always allow from this computer. Absolutely, do that four times. You have to do this four times now. And again, always allow on the network. Never click on the blue thing. Always click on always allow from this computer. That is super important. Do that, please. And one more last time, always allow from this computer. And now, now it is installed. And now you already see all these games here. And they have automatically been optimized. So if you start the games from the game optimizer, you're going to start the optimized versions here. HD Plus, for example, whenever it says HD Plus, it shows like, wow, okay, cool. They have chosen the, the best resolution for this game. So actually, they these are game profiles. So they've already found the best settings in that game optimizer. And I love that. So cool. So here it is. Vampire, the Masquerade Justice. And as you can tell, they've chosen HD Plus. Let's start the game and let's see the difference. And I was shocked when I saw this. This looks so much better. In the original, when I see the logo, the Fast Travel Games logo, it is just like full of jagged edges. It doesn't look good at all. But now, nothing. It is so clear. It is such a huge difference. And I'm loving it. It is so amazing. Thank you, Quest Game Optimizer. And also here in the menu, 
it simply looks better. Wow, this is the way that you want to play this game. And uh, yeah, probably, most probably, this is going to um, eat up your battery faster now, right? So probably you need something like a power bank or the cable that I've shown you last time here on the channel or the Bobo VR M3 Pro, right? With lots of batteries. Yeah, you will need that. <laughs> Buy it. So also in the game, it simply looks better, right? No more jagged edges. It is amazing. And I can't wait to play many more games in this optimized way. Thanks, Quest Game Optimizer. Simply fantastic. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, absolutely subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet, because I'm bringing you more tutorials, more reviews about accessories of the Quest 3 and all the news about other headsets as well. So absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And now I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Quest Game Optimizer? Do you love it as much as I do? or not. <laughs> and what, what do you think about this video? Do let me know in the comment section. And also, if you want to chat with me and the community, go to the MRTV Discord server, link down in the description of this video. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.